sniff around. And yes. I think that the independence would be better for Scotland. I don't know how it would be for right. the UK, but well, I'll, I'll shut right. up about that and listen to you. I'll give, I'll give you an example, Scotty, about who I think, right? Just, just uh, supposing, supposing uh, you've got a big union, right? Yes, yes. Uh, 50 mil say it's about 50 million members. Yeah, uh, 60, this, uh, 70 almost. Well, just for, for talking sake, 50 million talking sake, members. 50 million, right, we'll go over yeah, that then. And some, and some bright spark comes up and says, uh, I've got a suggestion here to make. Why don't we just... Uh, Take five million out of this. Forget about the other forty-five million, and and take it from there. Would somebody not say, "Are you playing by full deck?" Uh, no, no, not necessarily because you see what we're dealing with here. The union is four countries. <coughs> There's no mm -hmm. country called Britain. So when people mm -hmm. say the British people, right? That means the people of an amalgam of four countries. So uh -huh. there is no country called Britain or Great Britain or what have you. But we have a United Kingdom and a Westminster centralised yeah. parliament but Scotty, speaking Scotty, for us. Yes. yes. I think I think the idea in life is to get bigger, not to get smaller. Well, you see, sometimes you have to get smaller to get bigger, and I'll tell you for why. We can use um, cliched sayings like, if you are small, you think small. <clears throat> and a lot of the independence supporters I'm very, very unimpressed with. For a start, mm -hmm. there are some anti-monarchists amongst them. And mm -hmm. that's got a bad smell about it, because the monarchy and independence are not connected. But there is no way Her Majesty the Queen would want to give royal assent to any Independence for Scotland Act unless yes, they knew that the monarchy was yes. secure. I've heard you saying this before Scotland and uh, mm. uh, I barely know what, you're, you know what you're talking about, obviously. Oh yes, I mean I've studied it. You see, I don't just haver. It might sound mm -hmm. like that sometimes, but I study and study. Now my studies of the monarchy have probably gone on over a 50 year period. And uh -huh. if I didn't think the monarchy was a good thing, I would tell you, I would become uh -huh. an anti-monarchist, because I would say, yes. this is not good for our country. But what we have here is very, very special and very specialist, mm -hmm. and it costs mm -hmm. us 60 pence a year. <clears throat> you know, and it's nothing to do with the Union or what have you, because the Crown of Scotland, the monarchy is actually a Scottish institution. Mm -hmm. The modern monarchy is a Scottish institution. Mm -hmm. And, yes, um, you. you know, uh, yes. we, 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 need to look, uh -huh. we need to look at that. But uh -huh. there's no way we're going for independence without the Crown. Yes, but having that, said uh, that, from an economic that, uh, point of view, we are uh, sending at the moment between 40 and somebody suggested 70 billion a year to Westminster. Now, well, Westminster we, we, is Scotty, then asset-stripping Scotland. Scotty, if we, if yes. we go independent... Who's, who's going to be our army? Who's going to protect us? If we, if we well, well there the, would be the absolutely army. no problem with that. All you would say is, I mean, the bulk of the British army probably consists of the Scottish regiments anyway. Right? They put the regiments oh, together. You so away, you've got... if, you break away, if you break away from the, the UK, you're going to have your own army, but what kind of army is it going to be? Well, no, if you break away from the UK for a start, you have to work out what your defence requirements are if you're a non-aggressor, right? So you need to work out what are our defence requirements. And you say, well, we're quite happy to pay for um, a British army to help with our defence or for a European army to help with our uh, defence. And you've only, five million, you've only got five million people. Yes, you've only got five million people, but they still could need defended, although less so because they're not an aggressor. I know. You see, which but, is interesting. Uh, but, but remember, I mean, if the other thing we could, I mean, I, I, my, my name was in the ring to head up mm -hmm. broadcasting if we'd gone independent the last time, right? And what would have uh, happened there is the British uh, Broadcasting Corporation would have become the Scottish Broadcasting Corporation. I think if there was a, if there was a, a war with Scotland, they just put a white flag up. 
Well, I mean, you see, what it depends. What would the war be over? Well, if you work, work it over, isn't it? Yeah, but what would it be over? You know, I mean, you know, Scotland well, is not an I'm, aggressor. I'm just talking generally, Scotty. You know, I mean, yes, but Scotland's not an aggressor, and I mean, there's plenty of armies for hire. Well, I'm quite sure we, if we no, said, look, Scotty. why don't we... I mean, we have a full garrison in Scotland. You've got Edinburgh, Stirling, all the various barracks, Scotty. right? You've got all Scotty. the, all the Scotty. Scottish regiments. Yes, Scotty. we used to have... Just a second. We used to have the Scottish Navy. That was James the yes. Fourth. Scotty. He'd wasted the Scotty. forests of Caledonia on the Great Michael. Go on. Scotty. Poland was, was the aggressor, but... Germany went into Poland, didn't it? And there was a lot of countries that were the aggressors. But the Germans went into them and took them over. Yes, but remember that they weren't island countries. They were easy targets. We are not an easy target. Well, we're still there, as I see, Bill. And you see, you seem to be all hung up on war and defence. What about just actual life? I mean, we've had peace in in, uh, Europe for... Oh, 70 years? Well, no, this is where I look at it. If you're, if you're part of the UK and you get any trouble with India, you go to your pals in the, in the United States and they back you up. Yeah, but you're saying your pals... Be, you're saying your, yeah, but hang on a minute. You're saying your pals in the United States. What were your pals in Europe? Remember when Britain was fighting Europe, they had to go to the United States. But if I you have a super state in Europe, then that's another power. You don't have to go to the United States. And a lot of the choice at the moment that people don't realise, yes, <coughs> have mm-hmm. you noticed creeping in the language of we must deliver for the British people? Mm-hmm. Now, the British people number around 70 million. Mm-hmm. 17 million voted to leave. So around yes. 22% have voted to leave. Now, I'm just concerned that the British people are going to get the responsibility dumped on them for taking people out of Europe and putting them into America. But, Scotty, what you're, what you're getting wrong there, you've seen a referendum, an opinion poll. A referendum is not an opinion poll. Oh, no, it a was. I can... A referendum. No, I can a assure you. A I can assure a you. No, yeah. No, a no. Again. No. Again. No. Listen to me. Listen to me. That again is a very clever use of language. The referendum has the same legal standing as an opinion poll. Well, right, now, just a minute. Scotty, just Scotty. a minute. I know. Hold on. I've Scotty. got more for yes. you. I've got more right, for Scotty. you. Right. The referendum has the same legal standing as opinion poll. Also, yes. there was no requirement, zero requirement, for the government to act upon it. So they could have said, the "Look, government, we enjoyed that Scotty. exercise. Scotty. But we're not going to do anything about it." Scotty, the government yes. acted on it because it was democratically elected. The no, 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 you're missing, I, I no, you're, you're, no, you're, you I'm see, point, you, no, you. you're getting caught up here, the people wanted to leave, 17 million out of 70 voted uh-huh. to leave, so that's not the people, that's 20% of the people. Scotty, I, I voted to stay, but if the people vote to leave, they want to leave, that's, that was a democratically... A vote. That was a democratic now, vote. There were also, at the time, the at the years. time, at the time, two and a half years ago, there was uh-huh. a lot of misconstruing the truth. Senior politicians we were telling things that were not true. We know that, Scott, but people still voted to leave, and that's why they're in the pickle they're in. But why did because they vote to leave? It. They voted to leave out of xenophobia. They voted to leave out of misguidance. The point is they voted to leave. Right, but only what, only only twenty one percent. And also yes. I, I mean sorry, that's what she's been working on the well, last they, few years. Well we shouldn't have been working me. on that. The mistake